Yes. Oh, yeah. There we are, folks. Woo. Wow. <laughs> there we go, folks. Wow. This guy is a big one. Whoo. That is a big crappy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Yeah, we spent an hour and a half out there at the Upground Reservoir. Not a damn thing. Something set off the trap once. Something stole the shrimp. But that was it. So, we're back out here at uh, Center Green Park. Yeah, it's funny. The guy right next to me when we were at Upground Reservoir, using the only shrimp and worms, he caught himself four trout. I was using the exact same thing and I didn't catch a damn thing. Hopefully we can do better out here. Talk to you later. So, if you guys are looking for some really unique and original, all custom designed tees, anything from your fishing, patriotic, Christian based and just funny t-shirts t-shirts like this all designed by me or my wife come check it out at lumenpath.net and thank you very much guys for all your support yep I went over to Cabela's earlier to pick up some minnows. Unfortunately, they ran out and the only things they had left are just shiners. The problem with the shiners, they are quite a bit bigger than the minnows. So, well, you know what they say, bigger beak, bigger fish. Hopefully we can catch us a bass or something. Uh, look at how big these suckers are. Haven't tried using shiners before. So we'll give it a shot with a shiner. I'm just going to nose hook him. There we go. And I only brought one pole out here. That's my float. If I can't catch anything with the shiners, I'll try it again with a, maybe the gulp minnows or the mouse tails. I'm surprised on how well I did the other day using the mouse tails. Um, even caught me a good sized bluegill and one chunky bass. So, see what we can do with the shiners first. Today I'm using a brand new reel because on Friday that was a horrible day for me. Not only I was catching nothing but snags, to the point where one of them, one of the line I had to cut because it got tangled up so badly. But the bale stopped working on it. And that was on my Daiwa. This one I ordered is the Shimano FX. Got it for only $25. Testing it out today. And so far I do admit it is a lot smoother than the Daiwa that I was using for a while. Yes! There we go! There we go! <laughs> there it is, folks. <laughs> nice! Look at that, folks. Look at that, folks. Not very big. Our first catch of the day using a shiner. Probably about a quarter pound bass. Not too shabby, folks. <laughs> there we go. You know, since uh, we did very well using the Berkeley mouse tails, let's give it a shot out here, see what we can catch. This glue is like a plastic worm with an egg on it but the first time I used it the other day I was getting a lot of hits on it so we'll give it a shot with this mouse tail here you know the way I do it is that I like to give it a couple twitches and let it sit. Whoa, there it is. 
Something's already on it. Something's on the mouse tail, folks. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we are, folks. Woo. Wow. <laughs> there we go, folks. Wow. This guy is a big one. Whoo. That is a big crappie. Wow. That is a huge crappie. Look at this, folks. Good, about a 13 inch crappie. Look at that, folks. So, get the size of that sucker. That is a big crappie. Wow. That is one of my biggest ones that I caught so far. That is good size crappie. Wow. Definitely eating size. You know what? So far we're not doing very bad. <laughs> it's been about an hour out there at Center Green Park. Uh, I caught probably uh, about a quarter or half pound bass uh, using the shiner. And I caught me probably one of my biggest crappies ever. Suckers at least about 13 inches uh, using the mouse tail. Not too shabby. Anyway, we're out here back at the little pond. Uh, figured I'll give it a shout out here and uh, see what we can do before I'll be heading home. Talk yeah, to you later. Give it a shout out here at the little pond. We still have the gulp meat in. Had a lot of heads on it, but I didn't catch anything, so uh, we'll try it out here. And maybe we'll try out the mouse tail again. Still can't believe on how effective that mouse tail works. There we go! <laughs> nice! Oh, got off. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woo. Wow, look at that, folks. Oh, yeah. That is a good size. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Wow. That is a very good sized bass. Pound, maybe easily about a couple pound bass. There we are. Look at this puppy, folks. That is a good sized bass. Look at that, folks. That is a beautiful bass. Good size. Probably about, uh, at least about one and a half pounds, two pounds, easily. Not bad. Let's see if we can catch another one. Let's let this guy go. Well, we didn't do badly, folks. Yeah, caught ourselves two decent sized bass. Uh, one on the Shiner, one on the Gulp Minnow. And a uh, very good size, probably one of my biggest crappies that I caught so far on the mouse tail. One thing for sure, if you're just starting out or just returning uh, like I am, try out the Berkeley Gulp Minnow and the mouse tail, folks. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, I'll be heading out. If you guys uh, like this video, please smash that like and Consider subscribing, folks, for some more fishing, knives, and kit videos. You guys take care. I'll talk to you later.